lohnt sich. After looking around, there wasn't really a whole lot here I needed in the set, so I'm just gonna pick up these four today for sure. Dollar General around here has been more reliable than Target or Walmart. I live in a decent sized town, so there's a lot of sharks in the water, and usually they get there first. So, well, usually I'm left with scraps. What I want is just stuff for my collection. So, usually a lot of people skip on Dollar General, but you know, you still find some decent stuff there, though. I was able to find that open case, I think somebody picked through it though and picked uh, probably something good out of there. But I got some stuff that I wanted, and I got one thing I just finally decided to pick up. And last week I picked up that Civic that I thought I had. I don't care for this van, uh, but this is 86 Toyota minivan. Uh, these things are, are kind of weird. Have you guys ever uh, seen one before? I used to work on them uh, back in the day. Um, you have the engines uh, kind of in the middle. It's underneath the driver. Well, it's underneath the driver's seat. It's kind of funky. It's funky enough to the point where, what the hell, you know? If I want to have some fun with it, put on the racetrack or something like that, or just show somebody, you know, other than a picture, like a little model of, of what this van was, uh, it's not too bad. It was, you know, truth be told, it was ahead of its time, but personally, I grew up riding around minivans, and uh, I just, I'm just not a fan of minivan uh, at all. Grew up with station wagons and minivans, totally prefer a station wagon over that shit any day. Next up, though, picked up a blue Porsche 911 GTS 3. This is a car, I just, it's kind of weird. Um, I had to do some challenges in Gran Turismo 7 lately, and I went ahead and picked this car. It drifts so fucking nice, too. Um, I like the blue on it, too, for sure, you know, because one I got was white, and I just, you know, it's obviously, uh, I don't have it in, the, uh, in my collection, so I was like, yeah, let's get it. Next up, Liberty Walk doing his fucking thing, man. We got ourselves here, this silhouette uh, works, any GT, Nissan 3.5 GT RR version 2. A lot of words for a cool looking car, but man, Liberty Walk's been doing doing a great job uh, customizing these cars and just, just this right here. Like I said, I, don't, I guess I collect a lot of Nissan, but it's not by choice, it's just Nissan I think just makes beautiful cars all around. Uh, not counting the Altima and a few others, but... And last but not least, so this one right here, this Vintage Skyline 2000 GT, oh shit, this thing is fucking sweet. It's just got that retro import look to it though, and look at that grill and, and the lights, man, it's just, just totally on point, man. And I like the fact that it just carries the color around, great t detail on the bottom, let's turn the sucker this way, just, it's gonna look so nice in the collection, uh, just even with the decals on the windshield there just it's totally rad but man thank you guys so much for watching though um be doing a road trip here so i'll be out of my element for the next video but thanks again for watching